The new year is upon us, and now is the time to make your financial resolutions. Today's Your Dime sponsor is Wall Street Financial Group's Chief Retirement Strategist and Founder, Zach Gray. So, uh, we need to be thinking New Year's resolutions when it comes to our finances. I think we should start thinking now. No need to be waiting until deep into the year like I tend to do when it comes <laughs> yes. to those resolutions. It's not just lose weight or start exercising or uh, develop a journaling habit or something. Oh. We're talking, I'm not going to do that, by the way. <laughs> uh, we're, we're talking finances, and there are some things that would be helpful to us financially if we could start early. Definitely. Well, I think that, you know, the first thing that I put on the list is just let's get started. Sometimes the first step is the toughest, so you need to be thinking about, you know, but let's just get off on the right foot. Let's stop postponing it. And that's why I say, even if it's the end of a year, let's just start to think about what we want to get done. Let's be proactive and let's maybe take that first step of getting started, which I think is a good place to go. Okay, we've already got the first three tips up there. So start now, don't wait. And then I think putting money into an emergency fund. You can listen to, you know, all the big wigs and, you know, all, all the pundits, if you will. Get that emergency fund money put away first. And then at that point in time, maybe we can start to think about saving into some other investments. Maybe that's an IRA, maybe a Roth IRA, maybe it's even a workplace. But let's put a few dollars aside in the case that something, you know, bad were to happen. And then from there, we can move on from the mm. emergency what fund. What is, I've heard several different rules of thumb as to how much is supposed to go into that emergency fund. Currently, if I need dinner, I have it's that much in my emergency fund, uh, but I that's think a good place to start. You probably want more than that, ultimately, right? Well, I think six months is kind of the quick rule of thumb. I actually wrote a book a few years back called The Retirement Roadmap, and I spent some time just saying, you know, six months worth of expenses or income, whichever that might be, if someone's working or retired, that's a good place to have that rule of thumb of saying, let's put that money in a bank account, let's have it sitting there. In the case that something happens, we need food need or we need the emergency, yeah. obviously <laughs> things can be in a better spot. Do you think you need to have that emergency fund set before you start saving and putting money elsewhere. I do. Because as you start to think about the fact of, okay, where can I go get that money back from? A Roth type of investment account probably makes more sense. You can always go get that money back right away. You have to be over 59 and a half if you want to get it back from a qualified account, like a traditional IRA. 401ks can have their own set of hoops to try to jump through. And if you're under 59 and a half, in putting it into a traditional account, there's a penalty on top of it. So that's why we say, hey, let's put it away, that we don't have to worry about the ups and downs of the market. We don't have to worry about any taxes or hoops to jump through. So either. you think just a normal savings account for, for an a, a emergency fund? I know things can get tricky with uh, saving money because so many of us are paying off debt and you don't know, okay, do I save this? Do I pay down my debt first? Which is going to be better? Do I do some of both? <laughs> like, how does all that work? Well, I think there's two schools of thought there, one of which is to get debt knocked out. And I think that that's a good rule of thumb, right? I mean, the, the quicker we can get it knocked out, the better off that we're going to be. But I also think to say, if we know that we're going to start to earn for the future, or at least invest for the future, think about 2019. It's been a good performance year for the markets. And hopefully, you're getting better returns on your investments than what you might be paying on in interest on your debt. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, so reduce debt, like Tim um, kind of just alluded to a little bit there. Save and think long term are your um, final uh, resolutions. Yeah, I think that, you know, back to the reducing debt, I think that that's important. And think about what type of debt it is. You know, whether it's a home mortgage, it's a fairly low rate, maybe it's a vehicle, or whether it's a credit card, those are totally different things. And as you start to think about thinking long term, I think it just goes back to saying, okay, what is my timeline to retirement? Obviously, that's the majority of what we do. And so I think it's one of those things where we start to say, you know, where, where am I wanting to put this money so that it can help me maybe five or 10, you know, even 20, 30 years down the line, depending on, you know, how long someone has until retirement, that can make a lot of sense. And we've actually put together some reports about it I think you could find very interesting. And all you have to do is text the word retirement to 815-918-4185. We can shed the light on some more ideas there. Text the word retirement to 815-918-4185. R-E-T-I-R-E-M-E-N-T, I, -E -E I believe. <laughs> exactly. There you go. You're a good speller. Well, got to have something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Zach, thank you so much. Great resolutions and Happy New Year to you. Very good. Same to you guys. If you need any more information about those resolutions, maybe you're ready to get on a um, great financial track here in 2020. We've got all those tips for you at CILiving.tv with a link to the Wall Street Financial Group's website. I'm just trying to spell retirement. <laughs>